I'm scared. I'm scared. Guy, guy. Bonso Echo Park is about two hours from Accra and boasts of native forest and species in Ghana. Historically known as a place for plant research, we had the opportunity to learn about so many of the plants growing on site in the last episode of Your Guide on Ghana. In this episode, we learn more about the plants, do a canopy walkway, zip line, and learn an interesting piece of history about how Queen Elizabeth and Kwame Nkrumah are connected to this park. I really never expected that we were going to be on a tour like this when we came. It's supposed to be an African food festival, but there's like no food. <laughs> African food festival where there's like no food. So we're here and exploring this Echo Park. There's so much to see. Like, look back here. All of this, all of these trees. And you're breathing. It's like all the oxygen from the leaves and the trees. Hmm. Python has got it. You're calling the that, python. Yeah, that, the that old here. lady is called Tasha. Where, You've where named it? your python Tasha. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> it's not coming. No, no, she won't. She, she's in the forest. He scared us when he mentioned the python snakes actually live in the forest. And it was actually quite humorous that he said they have named one of their pythons. Okay. take advantage of horseback riding with their infamous horse there named Kukwa. <laughs> Again, you said in the Second World War, the crane was in Ghana. She was in this building. I slept on the crane's bed. Uh, hey, she's not small. You see that? In a building down here? There is a building that it has got its own transformer. Okay. It's a, pres it's a presidential uh, guest house or palace okay. those days. It was a hideout. Now what happens is... That's actually... Commander Boha. Yeah, so yeah. What happens is, during those days, <laughs> when the Dutch came here, they dug a hole for mining. And then it, it turned out to be a shape of a building. So they constructed a building up. So it is a bunker. Five bedroom underground, four bedrooms up. I was a residence of Sir God in Gadisbeck. Mm. And then uh, later, whenever the queen is in Ghana, usually that was where she is. But usually she comes to Chebi to see Osadio mm. and Motia for repenting. Mm. And then this was the yeah, guest yeah. place. In the Second World War, that was her hideout. She was not in England. Her hideout was in Ghana. W was in Ghana. During she the Second World War, World her War. hideout was in Ghana. In Ghana. She was here, the Queen here. of England. The Queen of England. Hiding this, in Ghana. This was during the World War. Second World War. Second World War. Sure. Hmm. You find see after this tour, go to Kibi. <laughs> go to Kibi, and then you find all those archives yeah, all in those there. Archives in there. Ghana is not, uh, she, was bed, she was in bed. She was in bed. She has got so many okay, pictures okay. from here. So many pictures with those old cars from here. This place was tired. It was a tired road. Yeah, you could see. Yeah, you could see there was a tired road. I was about to ask. That All these things were planted so many years. Some are 80 years. Some are 95. Some of these trees. Ah, I make yeah. Perfect. Ooh, it was that, but it was a hideout, so yeah, it was, it was yeah. made Very not chill. to be publicized. Sure. Sure. It was like, so Very this was a hideout of coded, uh, coded. coded area for Nkroma mm. and then Rawlings. Mm. Yeah, when it gets to yeah. the heat of the moment. Yeah, this was their hideout. Heat of the moment. So it was oh, a hideout. Heat of the moment. Atukapo's Kamansi. This is called bread Bread fruits. Fruit. Breadfruit, yes. So this I one doesn't taste like banana. Breadfruit. No, 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 no. This is breadfruit. This Caribbeans eat this too. You you peel this ones, 
and then you cut them into pieces, you fry them like yam or you eat, you boil them like yam. Hey! The like bigger yam. one is called bread nuts. The local name so is So is people. it like matured now? Any? It's matured. So you I can, can take it? Sure, you can. Okay. Sure, like Fresh yam. Fresh bread mm. fruit here in eastern region of Ghana. Ghana has so much yeah, richness, yeah, like yeah. seriously. Mm. Like it's like everything you need for your body is here. Fresh. I saw some of my friends posting about breadfruit recently in Toronto, asking about where they can get some. And I'm here in Ghana and it just like came off this tree. So, yeah. We started to make our way hiking up the trail, heading towards the canopy walkway. This is a semi deciduous forest. Okay. What does that mean? Uh, what does semi deciduous forest mean? Hey. You don't have all the big trees, but you have some small, okay. something some like that. Alright. This is just amazing. Just all of this nature here. Salt palmetto. This is Calarium vipolon. That is salt palmetto. You see those things? Mm -hmm. Salt palmetto. They are like palm. They are not flowers. They are very good. Do you know what? Tell uh, uh, what, what, when you read about Kutu capsules, they will tell you 0 0.0111 cubic meter of salt That is salt per meter. It's good for breast Oh, okay. Hmm. Salt per meter. Mm. Yeah. Okay. 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 We're making our way up to the canopy walkway. Now, when they say leaves, plants, they give out oxygen. Yes. And then you can think simply about your grasses that are a year old, mm -hmm. giving you oxygen. How much more a tree of about 200 years? 200 years, for sure. What kind of oxygen is it going to give you? Have you ever tried imagining? Okay, so I'll give you a rundown. If you do my tour, you add 15 minutes to your age, and I'll tell you why. Okay. 15 years, five. 15, 15 minutes. minutes. Hey, you like years. it? That's it coming with that. Yeah, <laughs> This is the way up to the canopy walk? Yeah. Hey. Going up the canopy walkway. I'm getting, I'm getting scared now because I was scared at Cocoon Park. I was scared at Cocoon Park. You were? Yes, I was scared at Cocoon Park, so I'm like really scared right now. I'm really going against fear. I did well. I'm really going against fear right now. I'm going against fear. I'm scared. I'm scared. Guy, guy. <laughs> she said she said let's go and I should stop saying I'm scared I'm scared I have an extreme fear of heights so and scary. my extreme fear of heights got the best of me as I was doing this canopy walkway. The same happened to me when I was doing the canopy walkway at Cocoon Park it. in overcome the central the region of Ghana. Pushing forward. Look, just keep looking straight ahead. This is the Bunso Echo Park in the eastern region of Ghana where you can come and get a walkway experience. It's not only Kakum Park, but it's also here in the Eastern region. It is on the way to Kumasi, but it is just before the city of Osino. 
um, there's a place called Linda Door. When you pass Linda Door, you would turn right and go about two and a half kilometers and you'll end up here. You see, I'm talking about all this stuff so I can keep my mind off of what I'm doing right now. Moving forward. I mean, it's a lie. It, it's fun. I mean, it's fun. Don't worry. I managed to continue pushing through my fear, going on the last canopy on the walkway. And when I finally made it to safety on safe ground, I took a moment to sit on this branch that comes from a tree and is actually like a swing from one of the trees in the park. So I'm about to do this zip line. I will take you. The zip line. here at Bunsu Echo Park. It's been a really interesting day here for the African Food Festival, which there wasn't even really much food, but it ended up being a tour of this Echo Park. So what a great day. If you like this video, don't forget to share it and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming uploads on this channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.